Are you having issues manipulating the safety on your compliant AR-15? Well, we're gonna solve that problem for you right now. Brian Kerber here with Take Aim TV. With many anti-gun states forcing ridiculous standards on the AR-15 platform down our throat, we were forced to adapt. Years ago, we were introduced to the featureless rifle with the compliant stocks. My personal big issue with these stocks is that it moves your hand slightly further back than it would be with a standard pistol grip, which makes it a little more difficult to manipulate your safety selector. You can easily kick the selector off when it's time to fire, but when it comes time to actually put it back on safe, it's very difficult to reach unless you have large hands. So you have to remove your support hand from the rifle and kick it back on safe. Now this makes it not very convenient or efficient when it comes time to do shooting drills and when safety manipulation is very important. A solution to this problem is an ambidextrous safety. And in this episode, we're actually gonna test and review the Radiant Talent ambidextrous safety. And we're also gonna show you how to install it. With an ambidextrous safety, what you could do is you use your thumb like you normally would to put your gun into fire. Now, when it comes time to put your rifle back on safe, you can use your trigger finger to go up and click the other side, making it easy so you do not have to remove your hand or change your form. Proper safety manipulation is paramount, especially when operating a carbine in a dynamic environment. Let's jump right into the install. First and foremost, clear your rifle and make sure it's unloaded. Next, you remove the grip. Be cautious when removing the grip to make sure you do not lose your original safety detent and detent spring in case you want to use it on a later project. Then remove your old lame safety. Next, insert the new super cool talon safety into the receiver. Then insert the new safety detent and detent spring and then reinstall your grip. To install the lever, first insert the spring-loaded retention stud, then depress it with the included tool while sliding the lever over the stud. If you need to remove it later, you can use the included tool to press down in the retention stud and slide off the lever. After that, safely function test your rifle, making sure it still functions properly, and make sure you do not let the hammer slam against the receiver. So if that was too difficult to understand, if you actually just open up the package, wow! Installation instructions right there for you. So give that a try. To switch the throw from 90 degrees to 45 degrees, simply loosen the grip again, just enough to rotate the entire safety 180 degrees, then tighten the grip. Then remove the levers with the supply tool and then reinstall them in the correct position. 45 degrees versus 90 degrees is up to your personal preference. I recommend testing it both ways to see what works best for you. I think these selectors are really nicely built and they have a cool look to them. The levers are aircraft grade aluminum and you have several different color options. The center shaft is machined from a hardened steel with a nitride finish and so you know it's going to last. It's very consistent and I like the audible click you hear when manipulating the selector. I like it. Yeah. I think it's good. I like the angle that it's at where I can access it easily with my thumb either way. Obviously one of the other benefits of an ambidextrous safety is it'll work great for right and left handed shooters. If I was a lefty though, I would really appreciate having the ability to manipulate it off of my thumb. Yeah. Rather than having a sweep with my thumb. Right. You also get the option to select the lever lengths for each side. I really can't think of anything negative to say about it. It operates the way you should expect it to operate. It was very easy to install. If you can install a mil spec safety selector, then you definitely can install this. A very similar process of installation. So if you're thinking about this, I would recommend checking it out. I'm using the short lever on my strong side, so that way it's not in the way when shooting. You can swap the lever from one side to the other depending on your needs. This product is 100% made in the USA. And you know on this channel, that's a big thing I love. I would love seeing American made products, especially when it's firearm related. It doesn't get much more American than that. And so whenever possible, I try to put American made products on my weapons. Also, Radiant Weapons has an exceptional reputation. Most people love their products. They have a fine attention to detail, so you know it's gonna be made well and function properly. And so, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind this is gonna last a really long time. So if you're looking to increase your proficiency behind a carbine, especially in the states like New York, California, where you know they have to be safe act compliant, at least in New York that is, 
you should give this a try. An ambidextrous safety could solve the problems that you may have manipulating your safety, and that is very important to do. A lot of guys I've heard say things like, oh, I don't even use it, I just click it on fire all the time. That's not safe, that's not the proper way to operate a rifle. So give ambidextrous safeties a try, train with it, do some drills with it, and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. For more information, check out Radiant Weapons. Their website has a lot of cool products. They offer some sweet AR-15s and other cool gear on their website, and you can get all the information you need on the safety selector. I'd like to give a huge shout out to the firing pin in Bergen, New York. I was actually working alongside with Pat, one of their firearm instructors over there. Super cool guy. They're very helpful. They teach you how to do things proficiently and not make you feel like a moron when you do something wrong. And it's something that I highly recommend everyone does is take some professional training in person. YouTube videos are great, but nothing beats in-person training. It really can help you and eliminate flaws and really help you become a more proficient shooter. And it's fun, you know, it's, it's always good to be out there with somebody else and teach you new drills so you're not just going to the range and wasting ammo. Guys spend more money on Punisher logo accessories and stupid add-ons to their guns than they could on a simple training course which will add more value in the long run. So if you're looking to get some training, reach out to the Firing Pin in Bergen, New York. It's a great place. They also have a cool public range, guns, ammo, and all sorts of cool firearm accessories. Just a disclaimer, Radian did send us the selector for this review video. That does not make it a paid for review. We do not say positive or negative things based on what companies send us, and we never will. Radian, I'm on to you. I saw that you threw some chocolate in the envelope with the selector when it came in the mail. And you know what? I don't accept bribes. Nice try, though. Hey, as always, thank you for watching Take Aim TV. We have a lot of sweet episodes coming your way soon. We're going to be doing a new training series with the guys over at the Firing Pin and cover a lot of cool drills you could do at the range. We also have some more review videos coming your way soon. As always, remember, stay aware, carry often, and I'll see you next time.